Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about our Klein Tools item number NCVT-1 non-contact volt tester. This is just a regular one. It doesn't have all the extras like laser, flashlight or nothing. Just straight up regular one and we're going to be checking it out. It goes from 50 to 1000 VAC. It automatically detects standard voltage which is great and this is made by Klein so um, nothing but good things. I've heard from Klein products, so let's check it out. Let's look at the back before we open it. So it gives us a little bit of a idea of what we're dealing with. It gives us a few things if you wanna read about it. There it is right there, get a little bit of a close up for you. Um, so let's check it out. I'll zoom into this for you can get a little bit of a close up. That way you'll be able to read what's on the back of this. And it does come with two batteries. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and unbox it and then we'll test it out. So let's open it up. Okay, do that, pop it out, got it there. Let's take out our batteries next because we will need to put the batteries in it. All right, got the batteries out. All right, we'll put this right here and we'll put this on in case we need it anymore. So we got the batteries. Let's see, it does use, uh, it looks like it is triple A's. Not double A's, but triple A. So we'll put those in, looks like regular batteries. So, okay, now that we have the batteries out, let's go ahead and take this out. The first thing that you'll realize is that you have a little uh, yellow leverage here. If you look at it right there, you just have to push it down and that releases it. So let's push it down, push this up and it comes right out. So let's go ahead and put the batteries in. Looks good so far, I like what I'm seeing. Um, we'll put the batteries in and go from there. All right. All right. Got the battery in there. You heard the little sound went beep. Too old to power it on is that's it. Hold the bar or the little power button. It turns green for you. So you should be able to see the green light and when it does detect current it turns red so let's put that there and we're going to talk about how we're going to test this we're going to test this with a first of all a outlet surge protector okay and then we're going to use a little item that i have that i put together the other day for testing current that i use for whenever something breaks down and i want to check it out myself so what i use is a cable that i created this is the cable that i created this goes into the outlet and then i can test these for uh for any kind of power okay i don't recommend you do this i just want to make sure that i'm safe when i do that so one of the things i actually do is i do put some kind of protectors on it so that i am protected from it and i don't hurt myself right so one of the first things that i usually do is grab this and i just put a bolt there i put one there just tie it down and just tie it down too because i'll be able to tell by the color of the wire which one is what okay so let's go ahead and start that up i'll see you in a few minutes okay so i got that connected so let's go ahead and see i'm going to go to the surge protector and hit the power button on it to start running power through it uh, it is running now so now i hold this and i'm gonna turn it on just to make sure as you can tell there is current there you can check through the sheathing too nothing there neutral ground power so if you can notice i don't have to get all the way to it to detect it okay so it works really well as you can tell i can even touch it as i get closer to it you hear the sound goes constant all right you can even see it through the sheet here all right so let me go ahead and disconnect this and end the power to it that way you'll see when i count to three i'll switch the button on the side one two three as you can tell now that i switched that outlet protector protector off there is no power again so very good tool very good tool let me go ahead and sit remove everything again okay so we're going to check this out on an outlet that i have in my garage i want to show, show you how it actually sounds and how it performs on an outlet. So we'll turn it on by hitting the button. And as you can tell the green light, 
and that one beep just lets you know that it's not in silent mode. So I'll stick it in here. There you go, you see that clear red light. You can see it from all angles. All right, the next thing that I'll show you is that you don't have to necessarily have it all the way in it. So here we go. See that? And then you can stick it in further if you want. So the way that you get this into silent mode is that you turn it off and then you power it on by holding it for two seconds. Okay, so let's do that. Power off. Then I'm gonna hit the power button and hold it for two seconds. There you go. No sound, no indicator or nothing. So now we'll go stick it in here. So you, you see the red light, but you hear no beeping sound. So you know it is in silent mode. There you go. You can see it flickering as it gets close to it. But the best way to do it is to always make sure you put it all the way in there. Okay, so now to put it back into auto, where you can actually hear the beeping sound, you turn it off and then you just turn it right back on. There we go. So now we know how we can turn it on, off, as well as turn it into silent mode, okay? Again, all you have to do is hold the power button. After you turn it off, you hold the power button for two seconds and it will come on on its own. There you go. Alrighty, everybody. It works on the outlets. Okay, everybody. I think that's a wrap. Again, this was the Klein Tools NCVT-1. No contact voltage tester. 50 to 1000 VAC, which is perfect for just around the house items like 120. I use this for checking out outlets. I use this for ceiling fans installation. I use this for light fixture installation. It's just to make sure I cut the power off. That's why I bought just the plain Jane, as you some people call it, the, just a plain Jane. I didn't buy the one with the laser or flashlight or nothing. So if you enjoyed this video, please click, click that sub, thumbs up and subscribe and comment below. I'll talk to everybody on the next one. Have a great one.